Hello, XSH here on the Sage channel, and we're back for some more singular survival. And I've actually done a fair amount of stuff while um, the entire universe was not being recorded. That's a very odd way of saying that. Anyway, I've done some stuff off screen. Basically, a lot of what I did is came over here. You can actually see now in these ice lakes, there's quite a few other little dents and divots and stuff out over here. Where I've actually been flying over here and mining up quite a bit of stuff. And let's not hit the ground too hard. So yeah, you can see I tried doing some trench mining here, which actually looks pretty awesome. If we were to hop down here, we can actually see we now have ourselves a nice little trench we could hide from. From maybe invading AT-ATs or something fun like that. Uh, and if we just poke around, you'll see that there should be some just truly random spots. You know, like there's two over there. There's a whole bunch over here because I did most of this um, in the middle of the night. As in it was pitch black out here and I literally just flew over here until I saw ground very cautiously approaching it and just dug it all out. Just giving you guys a heads up that that's what I've done. And this was one of those holes I started digging in. Originally, before it got nighttime, I was like, oh, I'll just dig a... I'll just dig right down into the dark area here and I'll get some resources. So I started digging down here and then it got dark and I couldn't find my way back. So I just gave up on that. We could have kept on going, just made ourselves a under ice base. Anyway, I did that. God almighty, how beautiful is our base from this distance? Just silhouetted on the sky. I love it. Um, by the way, uh, I should say there is actually a name for this ship now. And it's not one I came up with. It's one I got from the comments. It is, and let me actually go ahead and land really quickly so I can actually grab the piece of paper I've written it down on. I'll just leave our view at that. Oh, and bump the mouse, because of course, moving the 22 plates I have stacked on my desk is uh, never easy. Okay, okay, um, the name of the ship is, where'd it go? Oh, that's Dead Space Notes. Nope, this is notes for a video I was playing. That's notes for Lad's pills and stuff. By the way, Lad has not... Lad is my dog, by the way. has not had more seizures. Uh, he's still doing pretty good. Uh, notes for metal and stuff. Where the heck did I write it down? Uh, pages of just pure marker rules. Random shapes. More marker rules. More material stuff for modding. Oh, dear God. And lots of me just screaming on a page. Well, I seem to have lost the credits for who came up with it. It was precisely two people that came up with it. One person, I believe, called it the Snowflake. And another person came up with what it'll be its final name, the Iron Snowflake. Because I actually adore that name, the Iron Snowflake. Ah, there it is. Um, I wrote it badly. It was Jason and Ole Immorton. Ola Morton, I think maybe I'm probably going there wrong. Either way, Ola Morton, something similar to that, and Jason came up with the I, name of the Iron Snowflake, I believe it was. I believe it was you two guys. There's like a very squiggly flower snowflake next to that in my notes. This is okay. And also rectangular prism is also called cuboid, I found out from comments. Alright, anyway though, that's the name of our ship, the Iron Snowflake. I think I like it quite a bit. Uh, of course, from the bottom, that name's going to keep being relatively accurate. From the sides, not so much as we continue to build upwards and all sorts of stuff. Also, by the way, I'm planning in the future, probably once we get into space, extending these out more. Basically just going down like, uh, probably like this, another layer, and then having the metal carry out will add even more solar panels, because I figure why not we'll have a trillion of these. Oh, also, by the way, off screen, since it was a very long time taking, I went ahead and welded up all of these uh, manually. Actually, it took a very long time. I didn't even bother recording because I didn't want to have to have like three hours of shadow play footage to run through handbrake. But yeah, I went and manually got stuff out of this and put them in here. And then actually, before I put the very last one, I went and just got everything I needed for one of these and put it in all at once. By the way, I put both of these, this one and this one here, in backwards originally where they were facing the cargo container instead of the actual assembler to make them work faster which was a bit annoying having to grind those down and put them back in uh what else do we have here um just something i'd like to complain about really quick because why not is this so clearly we have a connector point right here right we're into the connector system from there and at the bottom there is another door or else we would not and if you watch our hydrogen at the bottom left we do this and our hydrogen is back up to full. So clearly this is connected into the conveyor system. But if we were to go into here and say main cargo storage and try to drop this off, it works now. You bitch. Make me a liar. There we go. It's not letting me take stuff out of it. So yeah, you can see it's like a one-way thing and it's not working properly. And yeah, I don't know quite what's up with that, but it's not letting me take stuff out of it. Oddly enough, it's letting me put stuff in. 
which it wasn't even doing earlier. Which is really annoying because sometimes during this area you're like, hey, I'd like to get some more hydrogen bottle can't. Very unfortunate. Oh, also another thing I've done off screen, I've been a very, very busy bee. Uh, we've gone ahead, and this is stuff that I was like very slowly working on stuff. I'm like, oh, I'll just do this really quickly. Nothing I was like, oh, I'm working on this and then working on this. And it's sort of I'm mining for 12 hours and then I just decided to add this. Uh, the Tim stuff, I've updated a few of my cargo containers. So I think I maybe showed that in a video. So there's only one of them with the tools and stuff. And But I did go ahead and change around their oxygen generators. So now they're all set to sort ice with top priority because I got so much ice, it actually wasn't all going in there. And it was what was wasn't properly sorted. So um, in fact, I think we can go ahead and see. Oh, actually, it looks like it actually burnt through all the ice finally. Which is odd because, okay, yeah, I guess it just finally burnt through all the ice. Awesome. And also for our hydrogen tanks, now oh, let's just search for tank, it's much quicker. You can now see that we should be pretty far up because we did have about, yeah, like 300,000 ice just sitting around not being processed for a while. So you can see uh, these four tanks that showed up are pretty close. Um, very odd though that I'm not seeing all of the hydrogen tanks. Why are we only getting four? I thought we had more than four. We should have, yeah, a lot more than four. One, two, three, four, five, right here. What the hell? <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that. Um, It's actually kind of worrying. In fact, yeah, this one's, yeah, you see most of them though are pretty much full up. I don't know what's going on with that though. Um, And that's actually really bothering me. We're gonna go ahead and pop into here and see if we can find more of them uh, because that doesn't seem quite right. Control panel, tank. There we go. Awesome. They're, they're all showing up here. Maybe, um, was I searching it over here? No, I thought we were in control panel. Either way, though, here's all of our hydrogen tanks properly showing up. And you see most of them have like 80 plus. I think there should be one that doesn't have quite so much. Yeah, there was the 57% one. Uh, and the rest of these should be pretty much full up. Right here. So we'll need a little bit more ice. Uh, but what we're doing today, what our battle plan for is for is today. Well, what our battle plan is today is very simply, we're gonna go mining because one of the areas I've been mining in, I've been running to a few well, issues in it. I just wanted to share those with you guys. And then we're going to go ahead and continue building onto this. And I hope to do all that in this episode instead of having to cut it up into two episodes as I did the last bit that I recorded uh, because I ended up just going on forever. Okie dokie, we're gonna head over this way and you can see where I've marked cobalt. I've actually started mining there a little bit differently. So a lot of people have said I should be mining straight down with the cockpit, of course, facing the other way as opposed to it as it is right now, just forward, basically mining straight down with your arse. Um, I usually am not too keen on that, so I was like, well, there's cobalt over here. Instead of mining straight down to it, let's try mining at a horizontal angle and get over to the cobalt. And that's exactly what I did. So I'll hide my UI that we can actually see what the hell's going on. And we'll fly into my nice little mine here. And it actually looks awesome, I think. It's just so cool. I mean, even this, like the ship just disappearing into the mine. And we'll come through here and you see there's a lot of iron that was in the walls here. I think this was iron, it was either iron or nickel. Let's grab a small chunk right here. And, tink. yeah, that was iron, I'm pretty sure. Oh god, stop running away from me. Yeah, that's iron. We'll just pick it up anyway. We can always use more iron. We're, I'm just mass producing, like, random stuff that I think we'll need in the future back at base. So our cargo containers are slowly getting filled up. But as we come through here, you can see cobalt, one of the few rare materials we still needed before leaving the planet. Uh, and you can see the way it's cut into the wall there, like this odd chunk that's been chopped in. Uh, that's actually because I've been having trouble with this lovely mining craft where it's not eating away the wall. It just pushes up to it and doesn't do anything. So I came in here and grabbed about 29,000 ore and just put it into the flying ugly duckling and took it away. But let's go ahead and try mining here and hope we'll have some success. Also, people did mention that I should up the sounds. Look, look at this, I'm pushing into this. Up the sounds for everything, um, and I did. I actually went into options and went to audio and I upped them all the way up to here. But listen how loud this is. I'm not even gonna tweak it because usually I tweak the sound quite a bit in my edit. This is just gonna be as loud as it actually is. You deaf yet? Because that's painful as all hell, especially particularly when we shut it off. So that's why, if you're wondering why my sound is so low and you don't really hear much game sound, that's why, because it's just stupid, stupid loud. Anyway, the uh, issue at hand here is you can see that, well, there we go. We're getting a tiniest, tiniest bit of progress at the top left there as the ore is slowly, slowly being chipped away. It would appear that cobalt is extremely durable to the, boom, 
Why did that happen? That was scary. I'm not doing any renders or anything silly. Oh, it was saved. Got you. Um, to the point where it just seems, well, like you're not making any progress sometimes. In fact, I'm not even sure all that was cobalt. Some of that might have even just been stone we were mining away. So, it, it's possible that cobalt is just very, very sturdy. And the idea is that you can't just simply keep on pressing through it. But I noticed even with the stone walls in this area, it just seemed very, very, well, sturdy. And like this, I mean, usually when we were mining up stuff, it's goes down relatively quickly, but here it's just like nothing is happening at all. I mean, I'm pressing W right now. I'm holding W right now. And we have enough thrusters that this ship should be able to go straight forward, and this is the speed at which it's going. I mean, look, we're, we're barely snagged on just like a few little things, and we're not going anywhere. I mean, maybe it's the bottom of the ship you could make the argument. The bottom of the ship is snagged a little bit there. We'll rotate the ship a little bit around, and... In fact, when I'm pressing W, the ship is going down because it's not going into the mountain. It's not making progress into the mountain. So yeah, I'm holding W there. As you can see, the thrusters firing on the back of the ship. And we're just making next to no progress at all here. You can see our weight at the bottom right is ever so slowly increasing, like a few thousand kilograms at a time. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, this is um. that's why I was in here mining by hand. Also, by the way... Uh, and unfortunately, you can see we have those spotlights on the bottom of the ship. You have to rotate your camera all the way to here before you can even see them. But look at this. I dug myself a little dump hole um, so I can... My God, this is so annoying that the lights aren't working at this angle right here. I have to literally force the camera into the ceiling, which then puts me in first person for some stupid reason. Uh, there. Oh, my God. Anyway, I have a dump hole so I can turn on all these little droppers and just spit out a trillion and one stones at a time. Which I'm pretty sure I finished this dropper at the end of the previous episode. Yeah. I almost feel like if I just barely went forward there, I would have died. Anyway, we do hit the max amount of stones in the game uh, by doing this max amount of floating objects. So you'll see that often a lot of these that are falling in there, yeah, you can see at the very bottom there, are just vanishing after a second. Which is pretty cool. Because it means we're not super, super duper cluttering stuff up. It would be kind of interesting if you could take all that into account and just make it another solid piece of rock, like, um, gravel or something that you... S I don't know. I just wish you could harvest stone and build out a stone and then also just harvest gravelly gravel by, well, maybe you'd mine it and instantly get gravel instead of stone. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Anyway, though, I've been at this for quite some time, and it's very annoying. And, of course, now that we're in the dark, it's actually quite terrifying, because you can't really see anything. I mean, we can see the stars on the right side of the screen there for a second before the camera just decided to put me in first person and reset my view because the piece of flying... Anyway, very annoying. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and check our inventory here, Cobalt. We actually got a fair amount of Cobalt here. So, I guess maybe it's just a very dense material, that's why it takes a long time to mine. But I'm going to keep mining this, and uh, we'll see what I cut to now, actually. And it looks like I just cut ahead to this, which is just me demonstrating that the simulation speed um, is relatively stable here. It just dropped a bit because I think we saved, but usually it's actually bumping up a little bit above point 0.1. It looks like probably when we're gathering a little tiny bit of material. So yeah, just wanted to show sim speed is um, not our reason for not being able to mine, it would appear. Very annoying. Shift F11, by the way, to bring that up if you're just curious. So, the back of my ship just went kaput, because I can't see anything, because these... Okay, you know what, the, yeah, there was no point in me putting lights back there, because of course, if I had put lights back there, they wouldn't have worked, because the lights only work when you're actually looking apparently directly at them. Stop putting me in first person, there's nothing to block my view, you... Anyway, I've lost the connector on the back, as well as some of our thrusters, so we're leaving the mine now, because... I have successfully mined in here, by the way, before with only losing nothing, including maybe every now and then losing one thruster. Not the whole bloody array, because it's pitch black and I can't see what I'm doing, and lights are pointless, and why aren't these thrusters producing any light? Oh my god, if they have a big glare on... Oh, salt. Salt, salt, salt. I'm sorry. I'll calm down. I'll calm down. I'll calm down now that we're out of the damn stupid mine that doesn't let me mine materials. There's no reason I have gotten this ship up to 400,000 kilograms of mass before while mining ice and other things. There's no reason why it should be taking ages to gather anything over there. <sighs> Anyhow, 
let's go ahead, get back to base, and hook this dang thing back up and get our connector back in place. Uh, and we're going to do that by flying the ship over in front of the welding array, I think, down here. Because that should be pretty simple instead of trying to fly in front of the big flying sausage. Because the flying sausage isn't exactly that easy to get in front of the way I parked it, unfortunately. Uh, and this should take two seconds. One of these, and one of these. And one of these. Alright. And weld that one up. Thank you very much. And we'll this one up and apparently welding that one up too which i've now glitched out completely and my camera came free from my actual vehicle for a second that was odd whatever anyway job's done everything welded up in two milliseconds there after uh, some faffing and let's also just to celebrate drop some stones here on the ground oh my god i think maybe the light the point light doesn't spawn until it's a farther away from the ship than just a few feet so when you're in a tight space it just doesn't work i don't know it's not a point light anyway it's a spotlight or is it a spotlight? Do they still do it the old way? Or is it just a point light floating out in space? I don't know. Anyway, we're back. We can now connect the ship up and finish dumping all of our stone. In fact, we don't actually want to connect the ship up while we're dumping stone because it'll pull any stone from the base that the ship can hold and throw it out. We just want to do this right here. We want to go ahead and make sure all the co the cobalt's dropped off. And by the way, it doesn't pull from cockpits, which is a little interesting. Um, and then, but necessary for building in cockpits. And then just go ahead and double check that everything has been sorted. Also, I can just go show you guys by searching ore that, yes indeedy, we are refining all that wonderful cobalt we've gathered. And we also have a whole lot more stuff just stored in this large main storage container, holding it all, because I also set all ores to be stole, stored here as well as ingots. That way we're not getting stuff clogged up from just excess ore laying about. Uh, which means we also have a bunch of nickel, silicon, uranium, and a bunch more iron. Looks like we're a little bit low on, uh, what is this thing, silver, because that was silicon, yeah. So we might grab some silver um, at some point, but for the time being, we're fine. We're gonna, just going to leave that ship docked there. Uh, we'll shut these off, because it's always a safety hazard just to leave them on. I really should look into just putting a button on top of it. There we go. What? What? Screen fade to black? What is this nonsense? It's as if Sage made a mistake and actually ended up recording for well over an hour. And the footage has been now cut into two episodes. What is this silly bullocks? I thought somebody knew what they were doing. Anyway, see you guys next episode where we'll actually do some planning on the ship. By the way, we should have a test flight by episode 50. Fingers crossed, nothing blows up. <laughs>